Every child is an artist. They're an artist not simply by title, but in practice. Children are artists because we expect them to be artists. We equip them to be artists. This idea is probably not new to you, and we know how the story ends. Somewhere along our way, our children, our artists, stop becoming artists, just like we did. As a parent of three artists, I'm determined to remind them for the rest of their lives that they are artists. If my oldest daughter, Caroline, becomes a dancer, of course, people will call her an artist. What, what about my son, Samuel, and his love of numbers? Is there any art in numbers? Of course there is. How do you add 187 and 312? Well, when my six-year-old son adds those two numbers, he asks, What's 300 plus 100? Then he asks, what's 80 plus 10? Then he asks, what's 2 plus 7? And he adds those together, and my six-year-old gets 499 in less time than I was able to say that out loud. There is art in the way that my son does math. Our youngest daughter, Lucy, will likely bring joy and smiles to people through her humor. Is there art in comedy? Absolutely. It's so easy and flippant to say that the world does not encourage our children to stay artists, but the truth is that we as parents have more influence over our children, if we exert it, than anything else or anyone else in the world. That means if you want your children to be artists the rest of their lives, then they will be. When we're children, we are who our parents say we are. And once we're out of our parents' care, we can decide what identity we carry. You're not the title on your business card. You're, you're not ever just one thing. We're all multidimensional. So no matter what your professional title or personal label, I believe that you're an artist. What you're looking at is something that my five-year-old daughter, Caroline, made. And it's pretty stunning. It's art. It's not very big. But man, the detail. <laughs> Unbelievable. And she makes art like this because we tell her, Caroline, you're an artist. And artists create art. So for you today, whether you've never done it or haven't done it in a long time, I encourage you to create some art. Whether that's words you write, math you do, the way you manage people, the way you navigate a sail, do your art. You're an artist.